1966 Vox Vauxhall Victor Deluxe Estate. So this is the model that was known as the 101. Uh, slightly nerdy fact for you, 101, because they claimed it had 101 improvements over the previous model. Um, obviously quite rare as an estate these days. Finished in this lovely white um, with the red contrasting uh, top half of the boot and roof. This one um, was actually driven all the way up to us from about 40 or 50 miles away um, to show us. It's been in regular use. It's gorgeous underneath, which I'll show you in a second, but we're going to start by having a look at the bodywork. Um, if we look down this driver's side to start with, you'll see it is lovely and straight all the way down there. There's no ripples, no dents. It's a particularly long car, so for that finish, obviously very, very good. Starting on the front driver's wing, nice and tidy on the wing itself. If we look along the actual bottoms of the wing, apart from a little bit of road dirt that we've missed, it's lovely and clean along there. The arch itself in there, really nice and sharp all the way around. No sign of any corrosion. Obviously, you'd sort of look down this area where you'd think it would start off stone chips, but as you can see, really nice and clean, nice and sharp around the bottom there and inside the arch itself. Apart from a little bit of grass from, uh, from its drive here, really nice and clean. So on the original spec, uh, steel wheels and hubcaps with the chrome centers, which are in nice condition. And we've got four good tires all around, loads of meat left in those. Front barge, nice and tidy. It's got a little bit of trap dirt in there, which we'll get. Uh, but other than that, all good. Rest of the wing, no sign of any marks at all on that. Stainless trim coming along the top again, lovely and clean all the way down. It's got the odd little light scratch if you get up close, but it is very, very good. Continuing down the driver's side, we'll have a look along the sill. And I'll put the camera underneath because it is fabulous underneath. You can see that sill, lovely and straight and sharp all the way along. But if you look underneath the car, look how clean that is. Really, really good. Not caked in under seal. Not a single bit of ginger or corrosion that I can see. Really very good. We'll have another look as we go around a couple of other spots. Lovely and tidy along the driver's door. Got a little bit of glue there where the seal's just sort of lifted up slightly if we're being really picky with that. Yeah, I'll fix that. I'm not even going to charge for that. There you go. Lovely and clean coming up this A-pillar. Obviously, you go onto this transition onto the red section. Um, so you've got this nice clean line along the bottom here. Along the front scuttle is lovely and tidy all the way along there. And then up this A-pillar and along that channel on the roof. Nice and clean all the way along. Um, now again, being in a state, it's got this lovely big long roof, which is nice and straight. There's no ripples or dents in there that I can see. Very, very good. We'll move the camera around a bit so you can see if there's anything there. But like I say, really nice and clean. No sign of any stone chips across the front edge here. Same with all the glass on this side, lovely and clear all the way down. All the seals are nice. They're not dried out or perished or anything like that. All very good. And that stainless trim all the way along, lovely and clean. Really doesn't make for an exciting video when we can't find anything to point out, but it is. it does make for a very, very good car. Lovely and clean on this rear door. If we open it, we'll have a look inside that arch there. You can see, really, really clean, sharp all the way around. You can get your fingers right in behind it. It's all very, very good in there. Same with along the bottom on these door shuts and things like that. Door shut lovely as well. Really nice and clean on that hubcap there. We'll get the camera inside the arch, see what you can see in there. Again, I know it's dark, but it is very, very nice in there. Continuing down this side, if we look up from here, you can see, again, like I say, nice and straight. It's not ripply or full of filler or anything like that. Balance on the lower half here. All very good. I'll put the camera underneath. A little bit of road dirt here and there, but that's what you'd expect. Underneath from here, you can see, really nice and clean. Look how clean that diff cover is and all that sort of stuff. Round up to the back. Chrome work. Very, very good. I can tell you exactly when the exhaust's gone on because it's got a date on it, November 22, so it's not even a year old. Both tail lights, clean, bright, there's no cracks or any moisture in those, so I don't know where you find another one of those. Got your 101 super badge on the right, Vauxhall in the centre. Again, that line where the paint changes colour is very, very sharp, really nice. No sign of any marks or anything on that rear 
tailgate. All the glass is clear around the screen itself. It's lovely and tidy. You can have another look at the roof from here as well. Coming down onto the passenger side, and again, if we have a look up this side, lovely and straight all the way around. All your panel gaps are nice and even. Lower half of the valance on this side, very, very good. Inside this arch, again, nice and sharp all the way around. Pop that door open, we can see it's a little bit of residual wax oil because the car has been wax oiled, um, but it is just wiping straight off, so we'll ignore that. And you can see that sill from there, really, really nice. No sign of any corrosion, all the usual spots. I'll have a look at the, uh, the channel on this side. Again, lovely and clean, and like I say, roof all nice and straight. All the glass on this side is clean and clear. It's not ingrained with any scratching. All the seals are good as well. Continue our way up. Have a look on the sill on this side. Again, it's not been jacked up wrong or rammed up any curbs. You can see just how clean the underside is really, really good. The only said it doesn't see rain, it doesn't see salt or anything like that, obviously. No real marks to note on the on the passenger side. We do have two holes where there would have been a wing mirror fitted. Or sorry, a door mirror fitted. Um, so it's easy enough to replace those. And then this front passenger side wing, again, lovely and sharp, all the way around on that arch. Another good wheel and tyre. All the stainless trim on this side, again, nice and straight. Coming round up the front. Both headlights, clean and bright, and the grille. Normally these have got the odd little ripple and dent in them, but actually, as you can see, that one's very, very good. As is the front chrome bumper. And then the valance underneath. Lovely and clean and tidy, all the way along. The odd little fly from where it's been driven there. Um, but other than that, very good. You can see underneath there, it's not dropping any oil or anything on the floor. Really nice and tidy. So body work wise, as you can see, very, very good. Moving on to the interior. If you're gonna have cream with a red roof, you're gonna have to have red interior. Door card on the driver's side, nice and tidy. All the bottoms of the doors are good. Door shuts are lovely and clean. You've even got a spare bit of carpet there as a mat. As you can see the carpet underneath, lovely and clean. Front bench seat, we've got one little repair in the seat there. You may just see it on the camera. The seat itself is lovely and firm, lovely and comfy. No sign of any other wear on that. The steering wheel, there's no real sign of any wear at all. Normally they get some chips and some marks from rings and things, but none on this one. Shows 82,660 miles. Lovely and clear on the uh, on the dials. That'll go up a couple of miles because we are going to take this one down the road. We'll do a video on that. So if you have a look on the listing, you'll see an extra video. That's for the driving. Pop the bonnet while we're there. Driver's side rear, lovely and clean on that door card. Again, even the door shut's really good. It's not had people jumping in and out of it without any care. Back of the seats, lovely and tidy. No damage on that from getting kicked or anything. Headlining is very, very good. Do have a little bit where it's sort of popped down at the back there. If it's a slightly, but it is hardly noticeable. And that rear bench, lovely and firm. Definitely hardly been used, really, really good. Of course, that rear bench drops all the way down and you've got this huge load space if you want it. Not like the boot's too small to start with. Again, on these sort of things, I always look at this little stainless trims and you know, if they're covered in scratches, you can recover that easily, but these are hard at the fix and you can see, lovely and clean. No sign of any scratching, even the sides, very good. Get your spare wheel there with the cover. All these sort of areas are lovely and, and tidy. On the side of the boot, again, very good. It's not a thing slamming against it. Passenger rear, again, very, very tidy. Like I say, it doesn't make for a lot to whinge about, but it does make for a very nice car. Lovely and tidy on that rear bench. Loads of room in there. I'm six foot two and I've got plenty of space in the back. And then front passenger side, lovely and clean again. No sign of anywhere at all on that on that passenger seat. Here it comes with 20 pence, there you go. We'll put it under there. Nice and clean on the uh, on the carpet set on this side. And that lovely painted section of the dash, nice and tidy. As is the silver section and the dash top. 
the uh, that one's pushed back in. There we go, we can fix that as well. Lovely and tidy on the top of the dash there. All the dials nice and clear, even the uh, heater section, normally they've got a little bit of wear or tear on them, but they're really, really good. If you check the description, we'll detail everything we know about the history of the car, where it's been, what it's done, all that sort of stuff. And then under here, you've got that 1600cc four-cylinder engine, which we'll get to in a second. But if we look at the inner wings and all these sections, they're really, really clean. I think someone's even tidied the release mechanism. People don't do that normally. Very, very, very tidy. It's not a scratch or a mark. There's the odd little fly from where it's been driven up, but we'll clean them away. Vin plate, all nice and visible down the bottom there. It's even had all that cleaned up and polished. Same with the air cleaner. But the shiniest air cleaner I've seen in a long time. Like I say, it's been parked here a little while. It's not dropping any fluid on the floor. It was driven to us. It starts on the button every time. Which I'll show you now. Got a little bit of choke. Hasn't been started in a while, it is cold. Fires up on the button straight away. Give it a little rev. Nothing nasty flying out the back. Like I say it's on about a third choke there. Lovely and smooth at the front. And again, like I say, it was driven up to us. I'm going to take it down the road in just a second here. Um, so if you check, if you, can't, if you can't find it on the list, it'll be below this video or on the uh, on the YouTube channel. You'll see it as well. Quite looking forward to it this three-speed column shift manual so there you have it 1966 Vauxhall Victor 101 Deluxe if you've got any questions at all please give us a shout if you do want to come and see the car it's here every day so just again like I say let us know we'll book you in or if you can't get to see it we can send you extra photos we can send you extra videos we can do a video call whatever you might need just let us know thank you